This video is a brief introduction to element templates. It'll describe what they're used for and how they're used. So what are they used for? They're used to apply CAD standards to the environment. So if you're using one of the civil products, open roads, open bridge, uh, open rail, what have you, Element templates are used in the background of those products through feature definitions. When you choose a feature definition, it's using the element templates in the background to identify what level, color, weight, and so forth is being applied as you're drawing that particular feature. And that feature might be displayed one way in one view, uh, for example, in the plan view, another way in the profile view, another way in the cross-section view. And if that's the case, you might have multiple element templates being called by one feature definition. But that's really all element templates do is they define the standards that are applied at a given time. Now those element templates can be applied just in a microstation environment too. You might have a group say landscape or something like that that doesn't use open roads but they use microstation predominantly. So you can go in and use uh, element templates to organize your CAD standards and make it easy for those users to quickly apply lots of standards with one selection. For example, an element template might choose for plantings, a planting area might choose the level, color, weight that things are placed on. It might be placing cells in that planting area uh, so it can have an active set an active cell or it might be patterning an area you might have a pattern cell for patterning you know a planting area with a certain type of plant so you could set up those things that will apply patterns or cross hatching uh, you might have an element template for placing notes or dimensions and those element templates would go in and apply those things as well so you could organize those in your workspace based on what those needs are. And then when the users come in to apply those, they could just come in here in whatever product they're using. I'm in Open Roads, but this would be available in MicroStation as well. On the Home tab, this first drop down here is Element Templates. And they could be organized as we see here, or maybe by discipline. Like I said, you could have landscape, signing, signals, what have you. Um, and you would just go through however they're organized and choose in this case I'll choose say a point and then go to right away and I want to place a property corner so it goes in and sets the level the color or that's the element template name it sets the level the color the weight the line style all of these settings is it using transparency what's the priority um, it also goes in and sets things like this case it places a property corner monument cell so it sets the active cell um, like I say it could use be placing patternings so the workflow would be is you would pick that and then pick the tool that you want to place so I could go in say I want to place a property corner and then place the cell using this method here or if I want to place a line then I would choose the proper thing for that maybe I want to go to linear and then um, choose right away and then just place a property line that way and now it's set those symbologies and then I would come over here and place a line or a smart line if I'm just using microstation to do that so choose the element template and choose the tool as you work notice that it's building a list of those recently used ones or I could come up here and type. So if I wanted that property corner, I could just start typing and it finds all of the things related to that. And then I could go back up and choose a property line, property corner, anything with that name is displayed here. In the following videos, we'll see how we can manage and edit those element templates.